Hey, I'm Matt Goodrich. I am the director of FedRAMP here at GSA. I want to talk with you today about the three different types of authorization levels that you can do with FedRAMP. So there's low, moderate, or high. Those all relate to different types of data and different types of protections that must relate to that data. We all relate that back to the Federal Information Processing Standard, or FIPS, 199. And within that, it talks about three types of ways that we need to protect data whether it's the confidentiality of data, the integrity of the data, or the availability of the data. And we look at those from a baseline perspective of applying either the low for all three elements, the moderate all three elements, or high at all three elements. And if you look at low, what you're really looking at here is information that's publicly available, or information that there would be a low impact to the government if something happened to the data in terms of confidentiality, integrity, or availability. Um, and if you look at moderate, you're looking at, again, a moderate impact to the government and, and its mission if something were to happen to the data in terms of confidentiality, integrity, or availability. Usually the best example of that would be personally identifiable information or PII. And then you also look at high impact availability or high impact systems and that relates to data that if it were to impact, if something were to happen to that data, there would be a high impact to government systems or government operations. And you're looking with that, really looking at things like life limb or financial ruin. Um, and so as you go through the scale of going from public or from low information all the way up from moderate to high, what you're looking at is adding additional controls um, to make sure that you're protecting appropriately. But as you're looking at those high impact systems, you're really looking at a few key elements around reducing human error. Um, so doing as much automation as possible, as well as making sure the full scope of an authorization incorporates all of the services and doesn't incorporate many shared services within um, uh, the boundary or within the authorization for a provider. You're also looking at the high level as you're going from low up to high, a different level of looking at the authentication of people as they go into the system and access controls around them. So looking at not only is the person is who they say, they're, say they are, but how are we validating that, as well as what do they have access to within the system itself. So that's gonna be the different considerations as you go from low to moderate to high, is adding distinct elements around each one of those things as you're going and, and doing that authorization to make sure that we protect data um, and the way that it relates to the impact that were to happen if there's anything that related to the confidentiality or integrity or availability of that data.